Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mr. Hurricane. Welcome back to the Desmond Payne Road to the Show on MLB 15 The Show. Today we go into episode 5 as Desmond Payne continues his double-A career with the Frisco Rough Riders, where Payne has become easily one of the best, if not the best player on this squad. Last episode went very well for him as he upped his average around 20 points. He's now hitting 296, 15 RBIs, 8 in last episode alone, and two home runs on the season. Payne has become a very important piece to this offense that has the second best average in double-A. Now we'll see if Payne can keep his play up as we go bottom three. Two men on the one-two pitch, and it jams Desmond Payne as he pops it up. This hit is shallow to center field and easily playable. Payne does nothing with that opportunity, but gets the same opportunity in the fifth inning. And this time he's able to draw a 3-2 count and here's the payoff pitch. Payne sits on it and drives a ground ball to right field. It gets through and the lead runner comes around third and he will score the game's first run here in the fifth inning. It's another RBI for Desmond Payne as he's been hitting very well with runners in scoring position. Later, two down runners leave early and a strikeout will end the inning. We're used to it by now, I can't really get mad at it anymore. As Frisco leads 1-0, we're now into the 7th. And this hit brings Desmond Payne back and he makes a nice over-the-shoulder catch on the warning track to put that out away. We sim forward and the game comes to an end with Desmond Payne driving in the game's only run. Now to game 3 where Desmond Payne is hitting righty. And he's hitting a much higher average as a right-handed hitter. However, we're not going to be upping the average here in his first plate appearance as he pops one up sky high. As he's been doing quite a bit recently, this one doesn't leave the infield as it's easily put away. Bottom six, Frisco leads 2-1. First pitch of the at-bat hits Desmond Payne. First time in his career he's been hit by a pitch and he'll get the base at first. This one hit him between the numbers right in the back. But Payne's alright, he'll trot down to first and work his way to third. No outs still. And a line drive to third and Desmond Payne's gonna get doubled up. Another base running miscue as I did not freeze on the line drive. So that cost us a run potentially and Corpus Christi would go to tie the game. And this hit to the gap would give them the lead on an RBI double. Payne's base running error proving to be very costly but he has a chance to make it right here in the seventh inning. And he does just that, driving a hit to left field, and that will retie the game at three. Payne does his best to make up for his mistake, but Corpus Christi would score four runs in the eighth inning anyway. And we'll go to Desmond Payne here in the bottom of the ninth as he missed a big swing on that earlier pitch, and then pops one up, and with two down, this will end the game. I'm still not exactly sure why Payne's getting under so many of these pitches. Maybe I have to work on vision a little bit more, but they're not power swings. They're just, to me, it's Payne trying to be a power hitter when he's not ready to be a power hitter. Nonetheless, we do lose game three. Desmond Payne gets another RBI in a one for four game. And now it's a brand new series as Payne did not play in game four against Corpus Christi, but he opens up this series with a single back up the middle against the Midland Rockhounds. Standing on first base, and now Payne takes off for second, and the catcher can't handle it. He will be there safe. A chance to take an early lead now with Payne on second, and this hit driven to deep right field. Right fielder retreating, it's off the scoreboard and gone, as Alan Vizcano goes yard. And if you saw the scoreboard there, he's hitting 407. We'll take a big jump forward now to the seventh inning where Midland came back and took a 6-4 lead, but Desmond Payne begins this inning with a hit to the gap and he'll fly around first. Payne approaching second and he'll hold up there with a leadoff double. That time Payne's power was put to good use and he's back in scoring position with Alan Vizcano at bat, who is two for three in this game. One big swing could tie it all up. The 2-2 to Vizcano is swung on and missed as he strikes out swinging. And now two down in the inning with Payne still on second. Full count and a hit back up the middle. And that'll allow Payne to round third, approach home and easily score to make it a 6-5 ball game. Frisco would then tie the game. And here in the eighth inning, Payne trying to break the tie as he looks at a pitch he definitely should have swung at. 
The 0-1 pitch. Payne sits and drives it to left center. This one going back to the wall and it's off the wall and bounces back into the field of play. It's a ground rule double. Payne inches from a home run, but he has given Frisco the lead nonetheless. Another extra base hit for Desmond Payne as Frisco now leads 7-6. Two runners in scoring position, and Vizcano drives a hit to right field, and it's over the right fielder's head. One run's gonna come home. Payne will round third, it'll be a close play. The throw home is there, but Payne is safe. And Frisco extends their lead to 9-6. They would win by that mark. Desmond Payne earns another player of the game honor with a 3 for 5 performance. Two doubles plus an RBI. Almost a home run, however. I'm not sure what the chances are of that bounce occurring right there, but it's still a victory as the Rough Riders stand in second place in Texas League South. Two games behind, or two and a half games behind the missions. Game two against the Rockhounds, and again, Payne wants to show off the power. A hit to right field, and it's playable. Payne seems to want those extra base hits, but he'll get a lot of flyouts in the process if that's the case. We'll go bottom three, man on first, as Payne looks at a close pitch, it's called the ball. With two down in the inning, Payne hits another fly ball to right field. Again, he got under it too much, as it's lazy and easily playable. That's two flyouts to begin this game. But neither team is hitting the ball very well. We're still scoreless in the sixth as that curveball inside scares Payne a little bit. Then the 0-1 pitch down the middle and Payne with a hit to deep short. Off balance throw, not even close. A couple seconds too late it seems. As Payne is in with an infield single, it would move to second. 2-1 and a 3-2 count is that is another strikeout. And the next hitter would also find himself in a two-strike count and strike out as well. The hitter right after finds himself in a full count, but is able to draw a walk to load the bases. We have an opportunity here for Brad Pike. Bases are juiced two down in the inning, and it's a ground ball right back to the pitcher as he secures the out for another shutout inning. 0-0, zero zero, bottom of the 7th inning. The 106th pitch, and I'm not sure how Payne did that, but it lands in left field, and it will again load the bases. I can't believe he even made contact there, let alone got on base. However, one down in the inning, and a line drive to first, but this time Payne's not going to be doubled up. The bases remain loaded, with two down in the inning. The 2-2 pitch, and they'll appeal at first, he wins another strikeout. We still have not scored a run in this game. However, Midland would. It's a 1-0 game. Payne at bat, bottom of the ninth inning. Runners at the corners with one down. In an advantageous spot here, he draws a 3-0 count. Do you give a guy like Payne the green light here? The 3-0 pitch is in the zone, but call the bull. As Payne draws a four-pitch walk to load the bases. It's another bases loaded opportunity, and this hit goes down the line, it's fair! One run home, and here comes the winning run as Frisco walks off with a hit. Finally, we made use of a bases loaded opportunity. It wasn't Desmond Payne being the hero, but he did draw a walk to send the winning run to second, putting him in scoring position. And I believe they counted Desmond Payne's run as well because it has a 3-1 final instead of a 2-1 final. Not a big deal, but just pointing that out as Desmond Payne has some points to use and we will on contact and power. And if you look here, we've actually fallen a little bit in the average category. We're now the fourth best team and we can perhaps try to up that back up if this game doesn't get rained out. Look at the sky. It could start pouring at any minute. Midland's up 1-0 in the first inning, and Desmond Payne launches a hit to right, clearly foul. Now the 2-2 pitch, with a man on first, Payne sits, drives it to center, and that will get down for extra bases. Payne approaching second, and he'll be in with a double to put two runners in scoring position. Next batter draws a 2-2 count. The lefty deals, and a fly ball hit to left center, and this one going way back. And it's off the wall, but Payne wasn't sure. But still, he'll have the speed to round third and get home safely. It's just kind of hard to read some of those sometimes. You don't want to get doubled up and make a big mistake, because I've already done that a few times. 
will go bottom of the second inning as Payne tries to get underneath one. And he does a little bit too much as the center fielder can just easily make that play and retire Payne. Low scoring game into the fifth inning. It's 2-1. to one, And Payne hits another fly ball this time to right field. Right fielder retreats and he can't make the play. It's off the wall and Payne wants three. He'll be there very easily standing up. Plenty of extra base hits for Desmond Payne as of late. This time it's a triple. 90 feet away from another run, and the 3-2 is hit to left field. We'll test him. Payne tags up. The throw is there, but Payne is in safely. It was a good throw, but Payne's just a little too fast. Midland, however, would make a comeback. 5-3 in the bottom of the seventh inning. Nobody on for Desmond Payne and one down. The 0-1 pitch is hit sharp, but right to the second baseman as he easily puts out Desmond Payne. And Payne gets out on something other than a fly ball. We go to the ninth inning where Midland still leads 5-3. A runner in scoring position as this hit brings Payne to his left, but he's able to track it down. And the runner will not tag from second. We'll go bottom nine where the Frisco Rough Riders need some more heroics. Same situation as last time. Runners at the corners, one down, Frisco down by one. The 1-0 pitch is taken away, a slider out of the zone as Payne draws a hitter's count. The 2-0 pitch, and Payne, it's a fly ball to center. Center fielder going back, it's gone, and Payne has ended the game. A walk-off three-run shot to dead center. Payne wasn't going to sit around and draw another walk. This time he sees a pitch to hit and takes full advantage. His third home run of the season and a game winner. Two walk-offs in a row for the Frisco Rough Riders. Desmond Payne is the hero this time with his three-run home run. Another great game for Desmond Payne. He's the player of the game. He ended up being only a single away from hitting for the cycle. And we'll go back and look at his home run. I wasn't sure at first, but this one had plenty of carry. I knew for sure it'd be at least a sacrifice fly. But it was far more than that as Payne caps off the night with his third extra base hit. Maybe he's more of a power hitter than I'm giving him credit. But Payne's now hitting 323 as we continue to up many of his ratings. He's now a 60 overall. And Desmond Payne has received a call as he'll be moving up to AAA in the next episode of the Desmond Payne Road to the Show. This was all they needed to see. Five more games in this episode as Payne brought his average from 296 to 323. A handful of more extra base hits, plenty more RBIs, and now he's playing for the Round Rock Express, who are the first place team in their division. We haven't even concluded the month of April yet, but Desmond Payne has already been called up to AAA, and we'll see him make his AAA debut at home next episode, and see if his success at the plate continues. That will do it for episode 5. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode on the Desmond Payne Road to the Show. If you did, please leave a like and comment below your thoughts on the video and Desmond Payne being called up to AAA. Subscribe for much more Desmond Payne Road to the Show to come, and I'll see you next time in Payne's AAA debut. Have a great day, guys.